Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on nuclear. So we'll be covering in this tutorial uh, styles, Windows styles, and that's because, as you can tell, the last week when we left off the last tutorial, um, the colors of the the windows were very boring, were very gray and just very bland. Okay, so you might want to add spice it up a bit and use different themes. So you can see the like last tutorial, this is very boring, the colors are a bit... It might be nice, but it's just, they're very bland, okay? So in case you want to customize the look, the appearance... Okay. So, what, what do we do? First we need a file here to customize the style. We need a file that's on the nuclear folder of GitHub. And we can see the folder is here, nuclear GitHub. So the file is in, inside the folder demo. And then we can save a look inside the folder demo. Here we go. So this file, style.c, needs to go in our nuclear folder. So we, needs to, we need to transfer this file to our nuclear folder. Um, I've done that already, so we can have a look at what I've got inside my Nuclear 3 f uh, project folder. So, so I have the style.c file, as I just mentioned. I have the nuclear.h, then I have a rendering backend uh, file, then the make file, the main.c, and the bin, the compilation uh, folder. Okay, so let's start. What do we do to customize the dim? to change the style. Well, first of all, we need to to go into this um, change the main.c, this is what we need to do. So we need to go here into the nuclear repository and I'll change our rendering backend which is glfw glfw gl3 um, and then we go in, go into the main.c. Okay, and we need to copy paste something into the main, into our main file in our nuclear three folder. So ah, we need to copy paste here. Include style dot c. We need to copy paste this. And here, in our nuclear folder, in our nuclear three folder, project folder. We need to edit the main.c. Okay, main.c. And then we need to add this stuff. We can add it right after you, so. Yeah. <laughs> but don't forget to remove the, the two dots in the in the bar because the style.c is now in the same folder as the main.c. Okay. We're not done yet. We need also to copy paste some uh, line, and that line is that line is here. It's uh, here. This set style. So we're gonna use set style red because red. I prefer red. So uh, yeah, set style red. So we gonna put here. And notice this is uh, appears just before the GLFW loop, infinite loop. So, we put it here just before the loop, so yeah, here we go. So it's still red. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we need to do to tweak the, the, um, the style. So let's compile and see what happened. Okay, so it's much more appealing now. At least it's okay, that's subjective, but at least the colors have changed. You can see a clear difference from before. A clear visual difference. And also, we can further customize the theme. So, now say you don't like the, um, the white font, we don't like the. Um, you don't like some colors, you want to further customize the colors. So, what do we do? we can tweak further the style and that's so easy to do nuclear you will like it so 
basically the file style.c that we copy paste we just go here and then edit that file and you can see this is for the white theme these colors are for the white theme so we don't want that we want for the red theme so here for the red theme you can see all these colors will correspond to the red theme so let's say for example we, want to, we don't like the, the, the text color so let's change the text color for example so let's change it to I don't know um, let's, let's change it to something crazy that we can tell the difference so mix of 100 green and then 200 blue 255 blue and then the alpha is the same so this, so this is red green blue and alpha uh, okay so now um the button for example the button the button is red okay the border the border so the border is pretty like flashy green horrible flashy green so let's remove the red components let's remove the blue components and that should make our form look quite different so let's have a look so let's have a look what it looks like okay so now we see that uh, yeah it looks very horrible but it's customized you can tell the point of the story is to customize the the style so here you go if you guys are geeking colors and uh, rgbs and all that then you can probably create a visually appealing experience now GUI experience i cannot i probably can but now say you wanted to change the font, the type of font, you can also do that in, tutorial, in Nuclear but that's the point of the next tutorial, so guys, please stay tuned until the next tutorial see you later